Hello YouTubers and welcome back to Leander Club. Welcome to the beginning or the end of a new week on this lovely Saturday. Hopefully all of you have had a good week and you're going to have a great weekend. But today, after the testing of the past week, today is all about that recovery. So we've got a couple of sessions today, nothing too intense, more just to get the body relaxing a little bit and then giving us a chance to get a bit more recovery in over the weekend before we get back to training on Monday. But this is kind of the time where it is peak, almost getting ill time because your body is very fatigued and it's tired. So now it's time to untire the body, get some stretching in, get some rolling in and get some recovery in. Oh, yeah. And we're ready into the crew room post weight session to fuel up, making sure we get enough food in because remember, food is fuel and is very important for recovery. Robson's got some delicious, almost breaded egg toast. How are you feeling today after testing? Uh, not too bad, a bit tired. My legs feel a bit sore, mm. which Back I guess is a good thing. Mm. I mean, it's dead testing, right? How are your hands? Fine. My hands are tired. But now it's time to fuel up because remember, food is fuel. Are you? As you can tell, Yam had a little bit of a run around with a Weimaraner, but the same age as Yam. And it's one of the things about walking around in Henley. There's always dogs to play with if the dogs want to, but recovery today, this is part of it. Getting a little bit of a walk, maybe not in between sessions is the most ideal, but keeping the body movement moving again, not too much, but not just sitting still maybe sitting on the PlayStation and doing nothing all day. There's obviously always times where a bit of PlayStation, a bit of Xbox, a bit of time to just sit on the couch and do nothing is really good because you're spending very little energy and giving your body a bit of time to recover, but also getting and just sitting and spending a lot of time doing nothing and sitting on the couch can just sort of make you a little bit stiff and make it a bit harder to build back in after say a day off or time off. But food, we're fueled up a little bit after this weight session, because remember food is fuel. And that is really important to sort of get back into after sort of testing, because testing, or especially when it's back to back racing, is quite difficult to fuel properly because you can't really eat that much because you're doing back-to-back -back races so you have to stick to those quick sugars stick to those easily digestible foods so the overall diet kind of takes a hit until you sort of like get home and have a little bit of recovery meal so it's getting back into the swing of things after racing especially when we've done racing for almost a week and then making sure yam gets his attention too while he tries to help henley reduce the height of the water is quite a really high water never seen it this high actually so hopefully it doesn't get too much higher and end up flooding but now we're gonna head back into the club once yams drank an entire puddle 
and get on the erg. So see you there. Oh yeah. <laughs> And we've made it outside of the club for another day, letting Yam play around outside, but that will be it for the training today. Had an enjoyable erg, and we're just having a bit of fun together on the erg, rowing in time, which again I've made, I've spoken about before, when you're with a group of people versus rowing with one person or rowing by yourself, it just makes that erg a little bit easier. But also, speaking about recovery, how I did the erg itself, had my heart rate monitor on and made sure I wasn't overstretching myself with the the intensity. So it's almost like when you're coming back from doing a lot of intensity, when you're do, being a little bit tired, it's almost like coming back from illness, but obviously not as, you don't necessarily have to be as careful, but you still have to be aware of your body's limitations. If you're really tired, there's no point in overexerting yourself and making you more tired, especially after sort of the really high intensity stuff that we've been doing over the past week, making sure we're getting back into a recovered state, a trainable state, so that when we get into sort of the winter training that we'll be getting into over the next couple of months now, that we can use that training to our advantage rather than having to back off at some point because we've overcooked ourselves by not coming back after the high intensity stuff. So that's what I'm kind of doing now. So as you saw, a little bit slower split than usual, but also my heart rate was a lot lower. So I was keeping it uh, below 130 and sort of in the 52s for the split itself and very sort of relaxed pace and making sure I'm getting the breathing right across there, which I really want to talk about. I want to make a, bit, a video about breathing, but again, I'm no sort of expert in the field. So I would like to get someone into the videos to talk about breathing and see what they say, but also share my experiences because I think breathing can be really important and it can really sort of get you a bit more relaxed, get you a bit more, and if, if you know how to breathe properly on the row machine, it can make a difference, or at least that's what I think. But that's a whole nother video. Like I said, the erg was not very intense and neither were the weights, but both together, go well to sort of progressing back and letting the body get a little bit of recovery in as well as having the lower intensity sessions means that it almost flushes the body out of sort of the toxins that you can put in by high intensity pieces or racing. So that's pretty good to do as well. Even on say a day off, you do half an hour on a bike or on a row machine or whatever it is at a really low intensity, just so, so you get a little bit sweaty perhaps, you get a little bit of heavier breathing and it sort of almost flushes the body out but obviously that's down to you as an individual to do and it's not always applicable to everyone so you kind of have to sort of suss out what works for you some people prefer really to take the whole day off and like i've said there's a there's a fine line between taking an entire day or week or or however long you want to take off and doing absolutely nothing really a lot of a sedentary lifestyle versus getting up out of a chair and going a walk every so often during the day or during the week or wherever it is because then your body, like I said earlier, can get a little bit stiff and just get unused to training much quicker if you're sitting still for that much longer. But now that will be it for the end of the video, Yam Squad. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. A little bit more relaxed, relaxed today as Yam wants to go over here. A little bit more relaxed today. A little bit more of just sort of getting back into training. And then hopefully next week we'll find out about the what's going on going forward in regards to December trials. Fingers crossed again because obviously it's an invite only trial and the invite might not be there. And what boats will be in going forward as well. There might be sort of, we've got a couple of head races coming up, but with the weather and the water, how it is, the, wet, the water is really, really high. Um, across sort of this part of England so not sure if any of those races will be going ahead especially as the rain is forecast to keep coming down so 
We'll see you next week with another Soup Monday. But as always, remember to subscribe if you haven't already, Yam Squad. Hit that like button and I will see you on said Soup Monday. Oh, yeah.